In this video, I'm going to go over how to loft various shapes together. This will enable us to create complex surfaces within minutes. This is a follow-up to an older video, or rather an update to a terribly outdated video I did years back, in which I showed you how to manually loft shapes together in Blender. Before we begin, let's go ahead and activate our Loop Tools add-on. So I'm going to head on to our Edit menu, and under that, I'm going to select Preferences. Once the Preferences window is open, I'm going to click on Add-ons, and under that, I'm going to search for Loop Tools. Now, in my case, I've already got it activated. You need to ensure that you check this box, and we're good to go. Loop Tools enables us to automatically loft shapes using a script. The loft function is a rather important one. Those of us who are acquainted with CAD modeling applications will attest to how invaluable it is. Before we move on, let's go over some of the conditions we need to satisfy in order to achieve predictable results. So let me go ahead and grab my annotate tool. And I'm going to name this S1, this S2, and this S3. So the first condition we need to satisfy is to ensure that shapes 1, 2, and 3 have equal number of verts. This way, it's going to behave predictably. And the second condition is to ensure that these shapes all join together. Otherwise, the loft function is not going to work. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and clear all this up. Now let's get into modeling. So what I'm going to do is just select these three edges and hit Control J on the keyboard in order to join them together. And once I do that, I'm going to tab into edit mode and select our shapes. So I'll go ahead and select all of these. And I'm just going to right click and say loft. So once I do that, it's going to go ahead and join all our shapes. Now I'm going to switch to orthographic view and just go into our wireframe. And you'll notice that between shapes two and three, the edges are absolutely fine. But when you look at shape one and two, the edges are crisscrossed, and this is not what we want. And if I go ahead and try to adjust this to get our edges aligned, you'll notice that it's affecting the edges between shape two and three. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to just select two shapes and loft them together first. So let's go ahead and loft this again. And once we do that, I'm going to use the twist function to straighten our edges out so that it's symmetrical across the x axis. So once I've done that, I'm going to select shapes two and three now and repeat the loft function. And once I do that, it's going to go ahead, join the shapes, and I now just need to adjust our twist. So give it a value of about zero. And now our shape is ready. So I'm just going to shade smooth and add a subdivision surface modifier to this. So now we can go ahead and manipulate this shape. I'll then tab back into edit mode. I'll add a loop here and one here and then select a couple of faces right about there and then just pull it up and just bump up our viewport levels. And as you can see, with the loft tool, you can build complex surfaces quite nicely. All right, that brings us to the end of this video. If you found this helpful, like, share, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.